on another adventure, are we? I had an awful time in My aunt has some potions. She says that once he didn't put in the book of oh. potions. Like a powerful Have you ever had a cauldron leak? Rebellion. If someone says you have eyes like a demigod, is that a compliment?
Ravenia. You would be wise not to underestimate this student. Their aptitude for magic is beyond anything I've ever seen, and I've been teaching a long time. It is a joy to have such a student. It can be. There you are. I received your owl. I was able to speak with Lodgok, the goblin I mentioned before. What did you learn? He and Ranrock were close once. But they had a falling out. You believe he can be trusted? I believe he's trustworthy, yes. He seems sincere. And Serona Ryan trusts him. Very well. Supposing he can be trusted, will he help us get to Ranrock? I've retrieved a stolen helm that he hopes to return to Ranrock in order to regain his confidence. You have been busy. Let's hope your efforts result in our learning something about Ranrock's plans. Lodgok did mention that Ranrock is searching for something, but he couldn't say what. Perhaps that helm will yield some answers. Ranrock is searching for something? I feared as much. I've heard an unusual amount of activity, goblins and wizards, I surmise, when visiting my portrait at my castle. Rookwood Castle? My former residence, yes. That castle is also the location of your next trial. You didn't see anything? Speak with anyone? I did not. In fact, I did not make myself known. I only recently returned there and did not recognize nor trust anyone that I heard. I stayed out of sight so as not to tempt my portrait's destruction. I'm sorry to tell you that Victor Rookwood, evidently your descendant, is a dark wizard in league with Ranrock. My descendant? Dark wizard. I'm afraid we've no time to waste. Despite the obstacles that clearly await you, you must get to Rookwood Castle immediately. Not only is it the location of the next trial, it is home to a source of power that would be devastating in the wrong hands. 
I do wish we had the luxury of time. However, I do not doubt your abilities. Find my portrait there as soon as you can. Very well, sir. I'm on my way. Best of luck. No time to waste. I'll meet you at Rookwood Castle. You are here. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. You are here. Good. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Halo. We need to speak with him. Why did he challenge that horrible man? Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow! I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? I don't mean to be grim, but... Could Harlow have taken him? Archie's satchel is missing. So he may have left on his own. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... When my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father... Uh, I'm afraid to leave, in case he comes back home. What reason would Harlow have to kill your husband? My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. I begged him to leave it alone, but he... He was convinced that... <laughs> Is there anything more you can tell me about Harlow? <sighs> he's Victor Rookwood's second in command. A miserable, awful creature. Vicious and murderous. We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <sighs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. Where could Archie have gone? When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. What he had found, but we were too late.
Revelio. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Halo that we need. We will need something more. This must be little Archie's hideout Valia. that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie? Archie Bickle! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. There! Archie's footprints! He went this way! I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Rebellion. didn't cross paths with that pack. We should look around. Archie's satchel! Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Hollow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Archie went this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Halo must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. Rebellion. In the road. We will need Revelio again. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine, saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. 
I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away, and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... Mm. Let us keep moving. We must... Revelio! Taking in children now, are we? Better not be expected to feed him. It is as I feared. They have Archie. Be on your guard. There can be no mistakes. This little fella isn't going anywhere. He's deep inside there. <sighs> Suppose he's worth a look. That obnoxious little oh! fella isn't going anywhere. He's deep inside there. Oh, it's the But what? Leviosa. <laughs> To be so large on the inside, that complicates things a little. I understand. You don't think he saw it happen, do you? He's just a child. We should release him. Rebellion. 
Archie? Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. We need to get this open. Alohomora. A man called Harlow. He killed my father. We're so sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now, let's get you home. We know a safe way back. Oh, Archie! You're here! Oh, oh you're safe! Mother? Oh, Mother! Father's friends are in danger. I heard the people who took me talking about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. Mr. Filbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh. I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, Mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickel. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickel's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Thank you for your help today. You're back! Nice to see you again. I must tell you, half of Ogsmead's been by the shop asking about rumours of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. It may sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to test this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? What more can you tell me about the next course? It's just a jaunt from here, south of Oxmead. Beautiful mountain views. The course was designed to test flyer stamina. Some of your classmates mentioned they were headed there, eager to see what Imelda has in store. A bit surprising, considering many of them express reticence at the idea of racing against her at all. I hope that won't deter you, and you'll give the course a go. At least think on it. Sounds as if you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. Report back as soon as you can, and we'll be off to the races. Glad you came. Hello, Serona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I did, thank you. In fact, we're working together to try and rein in Ranrock. Are you? Hmm. I suspected you and he would get along. Perhaps best I don't know details of your plans. And I shall refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be. I... of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something. I do. 
I thought you might be just the person to do a favour for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband Aidan was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, uh, full of old letters and such. <laughs> Why did Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle have your box of letters after all this time? It's one of a few that I had when I was young. Dot found it when she was clearing out a closet. Can't imagine what's in there. Probably terribly theatrical. Ramblings of a teenage witch and her friends. You're welcome to take a peek inside, if you do find it. To be honest, I'd imagine it contains some lovely memories. Why does Mrs. Sprattle keep a supply of Wigan Wheel potion on hand? Dot's a skilled potioner. She's been supplying travelling vendors with Wigan Wheel potion. An ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity, what with Ranrock's loyalists disrupting the trade routes. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Doc can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. Lumos. Never knows when society will be thrown.
do we have here? Velio. I shall sort something out. Hello. Is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf, Biscuit, was abducted by poachers up north. All oh, the vicious brutes. I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your moon calf, Mr... Garnuff. Just Garnuff. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, my poor Biscuit. I can only hope she's able to escape. A moon calf is an unusual pet. Why did you choose Biscuit? She followed me one evening. I wouldn't leave my side. Never thought I was one for a pet of any kind. Now I can't imagine life without her. Moon calves are often thought of as silly, simple-minded creatures. But I've seen great depth of character in Biscuit. I wouldn't trade her for a hippogriff or a hippopotamus, or even a goose that lays golden eggs. Why do you suppose the poachers took Biscuit? I have no idea. Moon calf dung's highly valuable for fertilizing magical plants. I cannot imagine poachers care much about gardening. Who knows what they'll do to her? She could be flog-skinned, gutted and stuffed. I assume... Oh, Biscuit. I'll keep an eye out for your moon calf, Garneth. Oh, how kind. If only all of Wizardkind was as gracious to goblins. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. Do keep an eye out for her, and be careful out there. Poachers are an unscrupulous lot. I should try and rescue Garnoff's moon calf. Sounds as if I'd need to head north to find those poachers. Oh, it's you! What a pleasant surprise. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Well, I've had my microphone muted this whole time. Not that you missed anything enlightening, but I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like what you see, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe. All that good stuff means a lot helps the channel grow, and I really do appreciate it. Until next time, love you guys. Hope to see you again soon. Take care now. We'll talk to you later. Bye for now.